The dweller in the darkness, a play of the unknown. Mature female contrito voice, Miss Vina, is it my call? A man's voice, tenor Henry's. You doubt so? I suppose we can't very well prevent you. In sudden astonishment, what the dickens? A girl's whisperano voice, Phyllis, much as separated, the lights again. Oh, mother, why did we take this house of con- control? voice because you and your father went mad over the view and never gave a moment's thought to the arrangements inside the girl's voice well but fancy yourself being so light hard-witted as to have shilling in slot meters to electric light huge place like this well really couldn't be expected to foresee that a base note motor i suspect the fellow that did it had been tired of selling out his low investments to pay the quarterly electric light bill. The girl's voice, well, I hope he was reading, he, he was reading, he enjoyed the lights, suddenly vanishing in the middle of the sentence. The tenor's voice, giving the additional charm of the tr- obscurity to the literature of his choice. The girl's voice, shut up, Henry. The troto's voice, Phyllis, it's no good turning around on, on Henry, Mr. Mortimer. you better go out and put a shilling in the slot and let us get on with the game. Your servants are eventually, eventually doing nothing. They don't suppose they know where the vexed things are yet. There is one on each floor. Give me a shilling, someone. Mortimer, here you are. Henry, walking here, yeah, one of mine as well. I make sh- Sure, enough light to finish the ladder. For this, is it, as he goes, you keep at my little mental effect, efforts. You're capable of following suit and returning up my, my leaves, Henry. You say you're seeing them, and good bit for more besides. The footsteps are heard on the floor. A door is open and shut. Mrs. Venner, she won't be a minute. I'm sorry for any interruption. The men together, don't matter a bit. Miss Venner, after all, we one mustn't look a gift house in the house, a house in a maid in a meter. Mortimer, I thought you took it furnished, Miss Venner. Yes, but the rent's too low. It's almost a gift. The owner's a friend of my husband's, a little pause. Harry, Sully, don't, don't, Mortimer. Mortimer, don't, old boy. Don't what, old boy? Henry, you touched my curds, didn't you? Mortimer, no, Henry. Sorry, I thought you did. What a run thing darkness is. Oh, the light, that's better. Is in a one gets fanciful in the dark. I always thought, well, never mind. I'm opening and shutting of the door. And then his footsteps. This. There you we are. Now, Henry, we're after the, the money, remember? It's the call, mother. He's in a promptly. No bid. I got hold of. I got held. Not held a card this evening. Henry, nothing like telling your partner or that in your hand. One diamond, Mortimer, dismayedly. Now, why one plays this game? I can't think. Face with suppression, triumph, triumph. Two, tri- two no trumps. This is a sign that she's, she's, she is again. There she is again. The rubber game partner. No, Henry, all right. Three no trumps, Mortimer. Discuss it. Oh, I can say, really? Why put them on the table? He, we, he, be done with it. No, I can, can't do anything. Now I can't do anything for this. I'll put them on the table, if you like. She does so. There, put the, yours down to Henry. I'll play it from the table. Henry compl- complies. Mortimer, they uh, get a grand slam. They can't help it. Look, every picture card on the pack. There's any, suddenly, I mean, it. Maybe my ace of spades, make my ace of spades, Phyllis, you might. You've had it. Mother dear, Miss Vinnie, indignantly. What do you mean if I had it? Of course I've got puzzled. Well, that's very strange, Phyllis. It is very much strange. If you had it, Mother darling. Oh, you don't see that? Henry just put it down with his hand. Miss Vinnie, Chris, Chris, Where? Henry, flippantly. Here you are, Mum. Spot the lady. Oh, I should rather say, you sexes, observe the ace piece. For this, look, mummy, Miss Veneer crossly, 
It's all very well for your children to get above yourselves, but I see you saw the ace of spades in my hand just before the light went out. Henry the torch was serious in his tone. Really? They're still chafing. I expect there's a bogey behind our chair. Your chair, mother. Is then here suspiciously finished? Have you and Henry been up to some mischievous prank? Henry Swiffy, no, really, Mrs. Venier. Mortimer, suddenly and quietly, Henry, just don't, just count your cards, will you? Henry, of course, counting one, two, three. They all make up the stain and become a kind of chance. Comes a kind of cart. Oh, four, six, five, six, seven, four, eight, five, nine, Mortimer. You've got a full team, my little boy. Henry Rot. The child resumed all oh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Henry, by George, I don't have no face. Mummy, you dealt. Don't you notice whether the cards went ended wrong? Is any one? Yes, he didn't. They came round to me and in great trouble. Henry, do you take one of my cards for lark? Then the lights when the lights are out, Henry quietly and resolutely convincing. No, Mrs. Vinier. Of course I didn't, Mrs. Vinier. Apologetically, because as a matter of fact, I felt a little tiny tug, but I thought it was my as imagination, Mortimer. Breezy, it is, was, it was, Miss Bill. Whose deal is it? Turn is it? Henry, do you mind? We don't play any more, Miss Venier. Not a bit. Only it leaves at the rubber and finish. Henry, doesn't matter. Phyllis, astonished. Well, what's up, Henry? Henry, most definitely. Well, since you began talking about tugs, I thought I met someone leaning, felt someone leaning over me in the dark, honestly. And when I thought one of touched my cards, I didn't remember the face in my hand. When I saw it first, first saw it, a little pause of water, just phrase of the spooks, Henry. What the better fun than bridge? Phyllis, protesting, thanks so much. We live here, remember? Mortimer, breathlessly. Well, my dear Miss Henry, you don't believe what like that, do you? Face uneasily. Well, I do. Don't know. What's that? Door is open. Oh, father, come on in. You give me such a fright. He steps a third. Miss Henry, nonsense, Phyllis. How could your father give anyone a fright? Miss Henry, in a mature voice, thrillingly. I certainly never succeeded in doing so to you. My dear Yukot is here. Over his shoulder. Come on. Come in, you've got. Their steps are audible. Oh, well, finish your game. Miss Vinnie, we haven't finished, as a matter of fact. We've, we've, we've given up playing, Mr. Vinnie. Try it. There is no, Henry. Felt spooky. Miss Vinnie. Mr. Vinnie. Quite felt spooky. That's curious. Up, up front. Isn't it? Up front. A thin, refined voice. Where are you? Well, it is cautious, curious, Mr. Venier, jauntily. Because of the ghost, do you this ghost, father? What ghost? Is the house haunted, Mr. Venier? Only my rats, I think, should think, but there is a legend about this room. Henry, this room, Miss Venier. Mr. Venier, this is the very room. It's only legend you know. A man lived here in days of the Regency as a ghost. He's caught between the cards. There was a dreadful scandal. Dead fools. Mortimer interrupted. And when his friends got one cast him off and stalked out of the room, he shot himself in an agony remorse. And now returns punctually every Friday night to mood over the scene of his tragedy and separate his offence. I know the usual story. House agents make him up in hundreds of places of venue. Play, oh dear, no. Nothing so simple as that. He was a very alarming customer, immensely powerful, over six feet high, with curious sound, round-shouldered, stooping walk almost like a hunchback. You imagine such a thing as a six-foot man. He had a really wicked reputation in the neighbourhood. He used to go about armed with some horrible thing like a knuckle duster. He went out with it with the slightest provocation. Henry, what's, what's not... Why, so not, what's that to do with cheating at cards, Mr. Vinnie? I'm coming to that. He was uncanny lucky at gambling. He used to give parties regularly. Here in this room, I dare say, at a very table. It looks old enough. Phyllis, just sharply pushing her back a chair. That thanks awfully, Mr. Vinnie. Well, nothing to worry about now, Phyllis. 
One night, a corrupted stranger was playing. Someone who didn't perhaps realise his uh, host's reputation was unwise enough to create the fairness of the play. Host took one new at him, hit him in the face with a knuckle duster. You can imagine the effect it powered on up the man's features as though being peeled off, wiped out, obliterated. It killed him. Henry sharply, and then he killed himself, Mr. Venier. No, he fell, fell down dead. A epileptic seizure. Mortimer skeptically. How do you know it, all this about the from a furnished house? Mr. Venier, there's a book about it in the library. Picture of the man, too. Mortimer, I bet it was all faked up. Faked and there by the house by a hay searchers to catch romantic tenants who enjoy living with legends of their kind. What? Fellow dies in a drunken ball and spends the following century hovering, hovering about in the earthly guard room. Miss Vinnie, little freight fiddly. Sorry you feel the draught. Sorry you feel the draught, Mr. Mortimer. Well, uh, hardly. I beg your pardon? There was any thrown in the speak of speech, but really, one can't swallow that. I mean, essentially such a thing, long time, isn't it? What do you think, Professor You Hot? You're a scientist, You Hot. I need scientists because I refuse to form opinions about facts to go upon. I don't think anything, Mr. Mortimer. Henry, still, it's funny that tonight. Playing cards, I mean, Mortimer, I tell you, it's a mystery, wasn't it, Professor? You hot. I always accept a natural explanation, explanation of preference to natural, supernatural. Henry, slowly, well, I told you what I felt. You hot, interested. Oh, you felt something then? Henry, I thought so. Yes, I thought someone leaned over and touched my cards when lights went out. Mr. Ven- Mr. Ventia, we interrupted lights. What do you mean? Did the lights, when did the lights, what, when did the lights go out? Very swiftly. Oh, I need into this floor, Daddy. Rich has stopped me to again. Henry, well, what's the matter? That's what I thought. Anyhow, you heard the most interesting. You should test it, if you like. Very simply. T- Henry, test it. New heart, yeah, it's not, of course, whether you've heard a ghost or not. But whether that the saint psychiatrist call the operating and operating eternities, then these are present in his room, the forces that cause men, 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 what forces men, men, Oh, I wish I knew. Some people think the sort of men, determined animal men, something actually discar- human beings. Mr. Mr. Venet, this cousin human being, ghost, in fact. He heard, well, I suppose you might be called ghosts. They're really harmless and practical minded ghosts. They juggle with tea cloths and ring bells and, in some senses, walk through, through trumpets. And instead of talking through their hats, like a great many people who believe in them, you heart pleasantly. Quite true. For this. You don't sound a very convicted believer in that is these forces, Mr. Newhart. You know, believer is too strong a word. I think there's a case for investigation, Henry. Then let's this investigate you heart. Or are you means if Mr. Vinia has no objection, Miss Vinia? None at all, but it thrills me. This but now what do we do? You heart is perfectly simple. Provide one of your you emergency power. Vinia but how can we tell that? You heart. Imagine with a certain latent potentiality. We should know by our results whether we have real meaning among us. Mortimer, coincidentally. Oh, a real humbug face. Oh, no, Mr. Mortimer. You must be, you've got not to spoil it, Mortimer. All right, let's try. You heart. Bring them up, chairs around the t- table, Mr. Mortimer. Go between the two ladies, will you? You mustn't sit. It must have sit side by side, Mortimer. Thought it was a seance, not a tea party. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, we must relax our mind, no tension. Just emptying them as much as possible for this. That's fortunate, doesn't that take much effort in Henry's case, you heard. Shh, don't be flippant, Mr. Mortimer. Maybe he convinced as he likes. We must now, we must, we must none of this as be flippant. Well, I am the greatest soul of gravity. You have hands on the table, little fingers touching, to shove the light, someone. A click of the switch, what I thought so. Oh, in the dark, you hot. Well, but after that, oh, that's the main reason why we know so little the forces can't be worked in daylight. It deep deadens them. Well, of course, small places them, you hot, perhaps. Through the spectrum contains equally 
many equally curious quantities. The strange thing that from time immortal, well, that should have been tradition of the powers of darkness, a little pause, is everybody allowing his mind to be a complete peace, another little pause. Yes, suddenly there is a mesoretic power within you. How do you know your heart? Because the chill on your fingers, like a cold wind. Can you feel it? Any surprise? Yes, I can. What do I? I can't, mustn't talk about the draft again. I suppose there's a girl flowing through that door, enough to freeze a man to, you know, gently quiet, Mr. Mortimer. Give it a chance. Well, sorry, a little pause. Feel it suddenly. No. I need you to to go. What is it? For this, uneasy. There's a cobweb in my face, blowing. <laughs> it won't go away. You won't know, leave it alone. One of the regular symptoms. Yes, the influence is growing. One of us is a powerful medium. A little pause. Then it's suddenly, mother. No, we're playing mother. Are you Henry? So she's asleep, I think. Yeah, that doesn't, that won't disturb her. Well, you do. You must, you must be the medium. Then you, with a shade of anxiety in his voice. It's all right, I suppose. You heart, you heart perfectly. A little pause. Mortimer. Shortly. Does, don't mean to ask Henry. Henry. What do you mean, Mortimer? You tried to, to, to tilted the table, didn't, didn't. Only I didn't tilt the table. I will, will though. That's curious. Phyllis, what's curious, Henry? Henry, panting, pants a little. I just can't move. Look, I try as hard as I can, Mortimer. How can I look in the dark? You heart gently, yes, but please, both of you, don't interfere with the seance. You may, may be getting out. We may, be, we may get something really out of the way. The table is heard rocking to and fro, Phyllis. What makes it rock like this? You heart, unless someone is cheating, fake it false. No, no, significant, unless. You heart, that's what I said, Mortimer, skeptically. It is a remarkable thing that these things ever happen, except when there's loot bowl or for fraud. You heart, let's try to reduce responsibility for fraud, then. We will go to step further. Or we'll take your hands off the table and join hands in a ring. Have you all done that? He says, yes, you heart, firmly. Is anybody there? Something tap, tap, on, the, tap on the floor, Henry. Mortimer, Henry, don't play the arse. Henry, crossly, I'm not, you fool. You heart, well, shh. Is there a message? Will you rap again, silence, Mortimer? You Chris, repressively, sorry. You may have been three double, Ruby with violent traps, sign, please. A fierce Korean sendo, you heart. Really, Mr. Mortimer? Your most old ways interrogates them. What of our you heart, the unseen, the dwellers in the dark, Henry. Do you assume the pearl? Why are you playing the pearl? You are them of oh, him. If there is any one, there are only one. Usually there are more than that or one, but Mr. Wilbur makes it, takes it very difficult. Mudo, I'm sorry. Go on. You heart a little annoyed. That's the very little use that's going on. I won't say anything now. Show rap. Wait there, though. Perhaps we would get something, another rap. Does that mean a message of rap? How do, are we to read it? The alphabet, a rap, very little. Well, have you, from whom is the message? Eight raps. Hey, one tap H. A, 18 taps R. Four taps D. The pulls hard. Does that mean difficult? Um, serious raps. Oh well, go on and it pulls then and five more, five taps. E fourteen uh, get raps farden is that what is that a name of hard rap by it a hard rap is it it is go go on then two raps B twenty five raps by a pull was hardened by a scurry of raps Miss Vinner is a curious ascended voice no it could it's not that you heart wait wait it's hard but hereby a rap what's hereby. Fifteen reps, oh, four, eight reps, H, hey, fourteen reps, iron. A pull with John, John Hollerberry. Is that, is that it? A sharp rap, Vina, in you know, an awesome word. John Hollerberry. That's, that's the name of the man who cheated in the cards. Multiple, scornfully, yes. You were knew that. And so did you. I dare to say Henry Phyllis too. It's in the book in the library. Henry gently, multiple, old boy. You would have not to suggest so it's spoofing. I'm not. I'm quite sure the others aren't. Mortimer, cynically, well then, let's say that the habits of cheating appears to cling to Mr. Hollerby. Bye. 
A sledgehammer blow to the floor. Are you hot? Gravely, you may really shouldn't say a thing like that. Those manifestations are believed to have militarized for the medium, the form of physical substance. Their ungovernable forces unloosened. I do beg you not to provoke the unseen Mortimer Stolting. Well, I'm absolutely what I notice the manufacturers take jolly good care only to show themselves the, and a pair of stout boots, a fearful crash of the wall, a wailing like the wind. Fizz gives a little yelp of dismay. Penny is a little alarmed. What? That's not, that's not under any, any, any under anyone's boots, Mortimer. It's the wind blowing down a pitch at new hot. Well, let's call it the wind, but do please refrain from calculating the fence. Fess, please, Mr. Mortimer, don't be for hardy. Mortimer, to please you, Miss Winger, anything. Carry on, Professor, you hot, very hot. I'm not sure that we haven't driven them or him away. Noise distracts them so. We're going to wait quite still for a few minutes until there is a manifestation. Then a manifestation? Do you mean till something turns, shows itself up? Shows itself? You heard, I don't necessarily mean a materialization. It may happen very rarely, but when the drillers in the darkness of something a mastering to achieve, there have been impressions, of course. Yeah, evidence we must expect one tonight. After all, interruptions, unless, most of all, well, unless what? You heard, uh, bravely. Unless they or he has a special purpose to serve. Would of such, for example, as you have such example as taking away doubt, Mr. Mortimer. More as well as apparently Mrs. Vinyas, or punishing folly, Vinyas, sharply. Who said that? Mortimer, good humanly. Mrs. Vinyas, Mrs. Vinyas, Phyllis. Are you awake? Mortimer, mother, mother, is, is she still asleep? Henry, apparently, apparently, Phyllis. How can you, she speak? I don't, doesn't sound like a voice either, Mortimer. It doesn't sound like anyone's voice. And so, uh, so by elimination, you hot. Quiet, Mortimer, you promised. Phyllis, but, but it was her voice, Mr. Uhart. You hot that sounds that, that made up her voice codes. But she, maybe she was using them, Phyllis, nervously. Do you know what you mean? A little uneasy pause. Hang you quietly. Look here. I don't know what you others think, but I believe there's something in the room, Phyllis. Don't, Henry. That frightens me. You heart, whatever you do, control your fear. You must let the unseen catch your afraid. Henry, there's something over there by the window behind you. Look. What about harshly? It is sofa, of course. Fear is choking. It's not the sofa. I so I it's some horrible roundly thing. It looks like a hunchback. It's blocking out all the light from the bottom of the window. I'm frightened, you heart. Ersie, Miss Venier, you mustn't you mustn't you put yourself in their power. Uh, if you show fear, face, but I can't help it. I'm afraid it's moving. I'm coming. It's coming my this way. It's coming at me. You heard quietly. So I'm going to turn on the lights on quickly. The light is infallible in story and control. Mobile. Go on, Henry, turn it up. Henry is heard to leave this place. Henry, in his strange voice, I can't. The switch won't work. Henry, won't work. I'll come, face. Uh, Suddenly, a dreadful voice, Mr. Hurrot, is suddenly standing just behind side him, like a little grass. Oh, God, I touched it. Robert's bringing, singing up. Here, let me do that, do that light. They don't let us play the arts anymore, Henry. Get out of the way. Henry, the voice some distance off. I'm not in the way. Mordor is savagely. Then get out of the way. You will. Whenever you are, you are in front of me. A note of restrained terror coming from his voice. Get out of the way. Shouting, get out of the way. I'll lay you out. If you play the fall, all right. It's your own doing. Take it then. The sound of hurried rush forward. A sudden terrible grass. A fearful blow. A dreadful crushing forward. A horrid groan will groan. Everyone, what's the matter? What's the matter? Grinding noise. Still audible. You heart anxiously. Mortimer. Are you right? Oh, can't someone strike a mic? Can't someone strike a match? Horrible laugh. Who's that laughing? Multiphone to her. In here. Panting. Oh, I'm having this, uh, have this in a minute, Henry. There are matches in my coat, Henry, striking them. Won't strike the laugh again. It's late and landing, isn't there? I open the door. I sound the door thrown open. Now you can see a bit, horrified. What's that crouching over, Mount Mortimer? You hot. Don't be hysterical. There's nothing there. The click of a switch, Finney, got it. 
Henry fervently, thank God, the light at last, bids Minia. I've been asleep, alarmed. What ma- what's it? What's he matter with? What's he? What's his matter with? So everybody. What is it, Henry? My God, look at Mortimer. You had turn him over quickly, quick, Vino. Oh, they scream in terror. He's got a face. He's got a face. Curtain.